This video demonstrates how to set up and perform an ultrasound scan of the gastrointestinal tract. Equipment required includes the following. An ultrasound machine. A selection of transducers. An examination table. Positioning aids such as wedge sponges or pillows. A chair. Acoustic gel. Examination gloves. Bed linen and towels and a sonographer's worksheet. Ask the patient to lie supine on the bed and make them comfortable with the use of pillows or wedges positioned as required. Put on gloves. Expose the patient's abdomen, maintaining privacy where possible, and apply the pre-warmed acoustic gel to the epigastric region. Select a transducer of an appropriate frequency. Confirm the correct transducer selection and preset on the ultrasound machine. Perform a survey of the abdomen and make any necessary adjustments to the machine settings to maximize the image quality. Scanning of the gastrointestinal tract is usually performed as part of a full abdominal ultrasound study. Images are retained only if pathology is observed during the scan. When scanning the gastrointestinal tract, remember to ensure proper focal zone and depth placement. Evaluate and document gastrointestinal structures in two imaging planes. And evaluate and document vascularity of abnormal structures using color and spectral Doppler. Obtain images of the gastrointestinal tract in both the longitudinal and transverse planes. The decision as to what parts of the gastrointestinal tract to image will be guided by the findings of the survey scan and by the patient's presenting symptoms. Scan the relevant part of the gastrointestinal tract by placing the transducer on the region of interest and rotating to the longitudinal plane. Manipulate the transducer until a suitable longitudinal image of the structure is obtained. This longitudinal view may have to be obtained from an oblique scan plane due to the variable position of the bowel. If required, adjust the patient to the lateral oblique position with the opposite side raised to encourage gas to move away from the region of interest. Use a gentle graded compression technique to encourage gas to move and identify non-compressible abnormal bowel, including the appendix. Rotate the transducer 90 degrees counterclockwise from the longitudinal view until a suitable transverse image of the structure is obtained. This transverse view will most likely be obtained from an oblique scan plane due to the variable position of the bowel. As previously, if required, adjust the patient to the lateral oblique position with the opposite side raised to encourage gas to move away from the region of interest.